Hello dear students, welcome to our YouTube channel Science GK Facts. In the previous class, we have already studied what is Ohm's law and what is resistance. We have defined resistance there. Now, in today's class, we shall learn on what factors does resistance depend on and what is resistivity and why does resistance occur. See, in any material, when electrical charges flow, flow, flow from one position to another position, they will have to overcome the forces of attraction of the nuclei of the atoms which is exerted on the electrons. And sometimes they will have to collide with the nucleus of the atoms. Due to this collision, they cannot easily move from one position to another position in any material. So this opposition faced by the electrical charges to their flow that is called resistance. Any material which opposes the flow of electrons through it, that property itself, it is called resistance. Now, in today's class, let us come to know two activities so that we can understand on what factors this does this resistance depend on. See, let us take the first activity about resistivity. Now you see, we have taken an electrical circuit here. In this electrical circuit, three cells are connected, say for example, of a potential difference 1.5 volt, three are connected in series, a plug key is there in the circuit, and here an ammeter is connected in series, and xy, this is the gap in the circuit. These are the ends of the two wires which are connected to the cell here, or battery. In this gap, we are going to insert now different types of materials. Now, before inserting the materials, let us try to know what is dimensions, what are dimensions of the material first. Now you see, dimensions means length of the material if you say, that is dimension and area of cross section if you take, that is also dimension of the material. Now, here you see, the length of this copper wire, how much it is? 4 cm length, area of cross section is 1 mm square. Okay means what dimensions these are what dimensions of this copper wire now what we shall do is we shall take this one and insert in the gap xy and let us insert the plug key and measure the current in the ammeter it gives certain readings right we have to note down the reading of the ammeter now after that now remove the plug key and replace this copper wire, bring it back and now we have to insert in this gap tungsten wire. See, when you insert the tungsten wire, what do you say about ammeter reading, whether it goes higher or lower? It comes lower because you see this tungsten, it offers higher opposition to the flow of electrons through it. As a result, we can say it is having higher resistance than the copper. As a result, if there is higher resistance, there must be flow of current will be low. So because of that, ammeter reading comes down now. Okay. Now, let us replace now at the end. We, we shall take one more wire, which is of nichrome, this material. When you insert the nichrome wire in this gap, again, you note down the ammeter reading now. When you note down the ammeter reading, does it show higher or lower again? It still shows higher because nichrome is an alloy. Alloys have higher resistance than their constituent metals. What are alloys? Alloys are what? It is a homogeneous mixture of two or more metals. Okay. Now, nichrome wire is an alloy which is having the higher resistance than its constituents, constituent metals. So, what happens here? When you take the dimension of each material here, dimension means length and area of cross section, everywhere 4 cm length, 4 cm length, here also 4 cm length, area of cross section if you take 1 mm square, 1 mm square and 1 mm square. Means what? We have kept the dimensions of all the materials same here. But, what we have taken, different materials we have taken now. Based on material, 
the ammeter reading is changing it is going on increasing here here tungstens current flow of current is what low for what ammeter for tungsten because it has higher resistance if you come to nichrome still it has higher resistance still it will be low ammeter reading will be low here for this now you can observe one thing here what we can do is here when we keep the dimensions of each material same the material type has to be different here what we are doing we are changing the material like copper tungsten nichrome we are using but dimensions are same based on the type of the material if there is a change in the current in the circuit we can say they have varying resistances why do they have varying resistances because it is due to the nature of the materials nature of the material of copper is different nature of the material of the tungsten is different nature of the material of the nichrome is different because of this what opposition to the flow of electrons it goes on varying from material to material though even dimensions are same length and area of cross section they are dimensions though even it is same for all the materials based on the type of the materials the opposition goes on varying this is called what resistivity okay now let us come to know about one more activity here down here another electrical circuit has been drawn this we have to connect in reality when we carry out the experiment you see a cell is there in the circuit an ammeter in series connection it is connected already a plug key is there and again a gap is left here like x y we can call this also okay in this gap let us go on inserting different types of materials now what happens we will see here now you see nichrome wire if you take Length is how much? Four centimeter. Area of cross section is one millimeter square, right? Let us insert this into this and measure the current through ammeter. When you measure the current through ammeter, it shows certain readings, right? It shows. We don't know how much it is. When we carry it, we can calculate that and we can observe and record it. Now you see. Let us come to second trial. In second trial, what we have to do is. let us insert this what same nichrome wire this is also what nichrome wire when we insert this now length you see length is 8 cm but area of cross section is 1 mm square means what here and here area of cross section are same but length here 4 cm here it is 8 cm means what when you insert this type of doubled length wire between the gap of x and y what happens as there is double length of the wire the resistance will be higher now the ammeter reading it comes down as the length of the wire increases in ammeter we can note down the current reducing now okay what we can decide as the length of the wire increases as the length of the given metallic wire increases the resistance increases okay now coming to third trial in third trial what we can do is let us insert this now this is also nichrome wire itself okay when we insert this in this gap what happens you see this in third trial it is having higher thickness now means what if it is thick means area of cross section is more here for what this nichrome wire length is 4 cm of course here also 4 here, here it is 8 as in the first case here also it is same length but this time the area of cross section is how much 2 mm square instead of 1 mm square here and here it is 1 mm square but in this case it is 2 mm square now we have to note down the reading from the ammeter when it is noted down here reading from the ammeter now the current in the ammeter whether it increases or decreases of course it increases because of what as this area of cross section of the material wire increases area of cross section increases the resistance decreases 
because of what the electrons to move through that wire will have a wider way to move through that because of that they face less resistance so you can say as the area of cross section increases the resistance decreases if the resistance decreases the ammeter reading current will be increased in the ammeter reading we will get higher current okay now what we can say here as the area of cross section increases the resistance decreases as the length of the wire increases the resistance increases now in the fourth case what we will do is we will replace this copper wire which is having the dimensions as that of the wire used in the first case okay here 4 cm length okay and area is 1 mm square here also 4 cm length 1 mm square area same but material we are using now means changing now here till here till third case we used only nichrome wire whereas in fourth case we are inserting the copper wire of the same dimension which is having uh, what nichrome wire now you see here when we insert this copper wire in the gap xy what happens whether the current increases or decreases this time again here in the nichrome wire how much dimension 4 cm and 1 mm square uh, area of cross section how much current it was showing here this will be showing higher than that current if current is higher resistance will be lower or not usually of course for copper there will be lower resistance for a flow of electrons it opposes less there flow of electrons through it so here current will be more resistance will be less here for as here little high resistance current will be less here okay what we can understand here as we change the material the resistance is changing means opposition to the flow of electrons it is changing what we can say here the, the this opposition to the flow of electrons it also depends on the nature of the material if it is copper then it is different if it is nichrome then it is different okay now we can understand from this what we can understand see the resistance is proportional to directly proportional to the length of the wire as the length of the wire increases the resistance increases next in second equation we can write the resistance it is inversely proportional to the area of cross section of the wire or given metallic conductor means what as the area of cross section increases the resistance decreases okay as the area of cross section increases the resistance decreases now combining equation 1 and 2 what do we get now resistance is proportional to l by a okay now when you remove this sign of proportionality what happens r is equal to rho into l by a we are writing means what as we know already resistance depends on length and area of cross section okay and it also depends on what the nature of the material what is that nature of the material that is resistivity that resistivity should also be multiplied with this factor then the net opposition to the flow of electrons through that material that is taken as resistance understood you see resistance means what how we are taking it is the net opposition to the flow of electrons through a given metallic conductor Okay, net opposition how we are getting it is multiplied factor of rho means resistivity nature of the material that is resistivity and l by a its dimensions when you multiply the dimensions of the material by the resistivity of that material this product gives us what net opposition to the flow of electrons this is called what resistance okay see resi resistivity is what resistivity it is nothing but opposition to the flow of electrons it does not depend on dimensions but it depends on what material type based on the type of the material resistivity will be changing if you come to this here you see copper its resistivity is how much 1.62 into 10 to the power minus 8 
ohm meter what is the unit used for uh, resistance we have studied this in the previous class what is that ohm for resistance the s yes, unit is what ohm see here for resistivity what is that si unit it is ohm meter we are using ohm meter as a si unit for this for copper it is 1.62 to 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter and for tungsten it is 5.20 to 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter and for nichrome it is 100 into 10 to the power minus 6 ohm meter this is still higher than the other two okay now if any material if it has very less opposition to the flow of electrons that is called good conductor such as copper and aluminium since they have very less opposition to the flow of electrons they are used for transmission lines and electrical wires okay copper and aluminium now coming to if some of the materials if they have some appreciable resistances then they are called what resistors for example nichromoire if you take that is what resistor these resistors they are used in what some of the electrical gadgets such as electric iron and uh, electric oven such of uh, such what electrical gadgets in that will be used because they have some certain appreciable amount of resistance next coming to some of the materials if they show still more higher resistance than these resistors they are called bad conductors they are called just bad conductors okay and still more higher resistance if the material is having they are called insulators okay the conductors have the resistance ranging from 10 to the power minus 8 to 10 to the power minus 6 ohm meter in this range they will be having whereas insulators they have their resistance ranging from 10 to the power 12 to 10 to the power 17 ohm meter okay, in that range they have so this is all about resistance resistivity on what factors does, does the resistance depend on all these factors we have learned now okay just go through the video once again in order to understand in a still more better way and uh, the remaining things we will study in the next class i hope you all have understood this if you like the video subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends okay thank you